Hi, I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today I want to talk to you about making an accurate roll cast. When you want to make an accurate roll cast, we want to start with how that roll cast works. Essentially, we need a little bit of line touching the water, the grass in this part, right here, and then we're going to have a little bit of line behind you. I want you to notice where my hand is though. It's kind of across from my shoulder and across from my ear. What I'm also doing is turning my rod tip just a little bit to the side. The reason is if I come straight back, that rod line has a tendency to wrap around the rod, so I just cant it a little bit to the side. I also want to make sure that my line is pointing in the direction that I want to deliver this roll cast. There's my target right out there. Now I can begin that roll cast. I'm going to take my hand and essentially I'm just going to bring it forward. I'm going to bring my hand forward and then make a nice little push with my thumb. I come back, cross from my ear or my shoulder, my hand comes forward, little push with my thumb, and out goes that line, rolling right out to my target. This roll cast is something that you should definitely practice. It's going to help you catch a lot more fish, but when you practice this roll cast, make sure that you do a couple things. One is when you come back, make sure you pause and you wait. I see a lot of folks, they come back real quick and try to go right into that roll cast. You can sit here all day. That's the beauty of this roll cast. It's a great cast when you have some kind of obstacle behind you, or maybe you have a sinking line, you're trying to get up to the surface. And then from here, I just take my hand, I'm going to bring it forward, a nice little push with my thumb. Notice where my raw tip stopped. It stopped out here at about eye level. That's the second thing you want to keep in mind with that roll cast. I see a tendency to want to drop that rod tip and drive it down to the water. When we do that, we're going to create a big splash and we're going to drive that fly into the water, potentially scaring that fish. We're going to come back nice and slow, right across from our ear, our shoulder, bring our hand forward, nice little push with our thumb, and a nice smooth accelerated kind of flick. That's going to get that fly to roll right out. Again, I come back, hesitate, Little bit of line on the water, pointing right out at my target. Little bit of line behind me right here. Push with my thumb, nice smooth acceleration forward, nice little flick, and that's gonna help get that fly right out to your target. So now, let's see that roll cast on the water. When we practice this roll cast, I recommend practicing it on the water. The water's gonna provide a little bit of surface tension, sticking, that, or sticking to that line. That's just gonna make this roll cast a little bit easier. So again, I come back, I get the rod kind of across from my, my ear or my shoulder. I have some line touching the water. Now I'm gonna bring my hand forward, make a nice push with my thumb. Oh, that fly like to, likes to stick a little bit. Come on back, cross from my ear or my shoulder, come forward, nice little flick with the thumb. Notice again that rod tip stopping at about eye level, then I can lower that line back down to the water. Bring it up, a little bit to the side, come forward, nice little flick. Remember, take your time, Practice with a consistent length. You'll find this roll cast to be a lot of fun, and like I said before, it's gonna help you catch a lot more fish. Come back, wait a second, nice flick forward, then we can lower our rod down, and we get a nice, straight, accurate roll cast. That roll cast is a great cast, it's one of my favorites, and it is gonna help you catch a lot more fish.